What is good, Walker Nation? Dylan Walker here. Welcome back to compilation number two of funny, cringy, stupid things. Today is the compilation of where you watch me do stupid, funny, cringy things. And I will have a link to the first video to my first compilation. If you guys wouldn't mind, consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell to be notified my videos and streams come out each and every day of the week as possible. So you be known to be notified when all my stuff is sent your way. Because YouTube messes with a lot of the YouTubers. Because of all their notifications don't make it out to some people's way. Let's hope we don't end up like that. So yeah, y'all know what to do. Keep it too sweet. I laid down the law. And I uh, hope y'all enjoy this video. <laughs> Do a video. <laughs> Enjoy. Did someone say smear the queer? Get the queer. He's got the wet ball. Smear the queer. <laughs> Oh no, dude! Look at that! It's oh, corona. <laughs> I have officially become a pothead. <laughs> Look at me. I got pot on my head. Anybody curious on how I America it? Yeah, America! Hell yeah! Woohoo! Red, white, and blue, baby! Yeah! Yeah, America! Hell yeah! Wow! Guys, with what you're fixing to see is me embarrassing myself looking like a total idiot. So have it fun with your enjoyment. Finally, I'm home. Well, well, well. Well, you home late. Mom, look. There's some really good explanation for this. Ask him why he's late. No. Now tell me. Tell him why you tell him why you're late. Um what you were looking at earlier. Boy, don't change the subject. 
I want to know where you been. I told you to be home by 12. It's 12.01, sir. Where you been? So you literally getting mad at me. Because I came home a minute late. You talking back? I, I... Dirty room, they're grounded. And I bet I catch you with the attitude. Somebody got a haircut. Uh oh. Yeah, Big Show is. So that officially means, Big Show, that you are no longer a long haired, seven feet, 500 pound piece of monkey crap. No, you are not. You are a short haired, seven feet, 500 pound piece of steaming, stinking, great A monkey crap. Man. <laughs> Somebody let an alien in the house. There's an alien in there! Rikishi! I did it for the rock. I did it for the people. I did it. I did, oh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty! There's a live tiger over there. I'm not filming anything because that'd be against my rules. Put that thing back in the box before it gets loose. I'm trying. We'll continue doing so. Oh, I didn't get it on. As long as you put it in that box and tranquilize it. Lexi, I hope that tiger is contained in that box because if that tiger is not in that box, I think the people everywhere in the town is going to get eaten by a mad tiger. And then they're going to come after me. Just because they're going to frame me for being Joe Exotic. I'm not Joe Exotic. Do I have a mullet? I used to have a mullet. It's gone. Look at me. How is am I handsome? I'm not handsome. I'm ugly. Look at this face. I'm not Joe Exotic. Wait, the tiger's still in the box? Oh god, here we go. Ah, guys, careful on the women you marry. Things don't go too good. He still has the tiger and it's not in the box yet. What are you doing? I'm trying, but you won't come in the box. Are you even picking up the tiger? I don't understand what she's doing. Do you even know what you're doing? Can you put him in the box? So you're telling me you can't pick up a 240 pound six foot beast and put it in the box? <sighs> Come on, you should at least let me know how to get him in there. Then you tranquilize him. You know, wait a minute, there's four tranquilizer darts. Don't you know you put him under the anesthesia? Oh God. Lexi.